Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you a topic that I'm very excited about, which is how to use ChatGPT to write your first VBA code, even if you have zero experience. Now let's get started. So if you have been a fan for my channel, you will see that in the playlist, I have a few playlists showing you how to write simple VBA codes step by step, and it can help you significantly increase your efficiency for running repetitive tasks. I think a lot of people have heard about GPP, and the question is how do we actually use it to further increase our productivity? So this is what I'm gonna show you today. Let's start with an example that I've shared before in this channel. It's about sp splitting a master spreadsheet into multiple sheets with one click. So here in this example, I showed you how to write a simple VBA codes to split a master employee spreadsheet by department. So let's now see how we can replicate this in ChatGPT. So let's first go to our spreadsheet. So this is a spreadsheet that we used. Let's try to use the same thing. And now you do need to do a couple prep work before you go to ChatGPT for the code. First, if your file is saved um, as Excel, you will need to save it as a macro enabled file. So to do that, first go to file, save as, and here change it from Excel workbook to Excel macro enabled workbook, and then save it. And the second thing is that you want to also have the developer tab on showing here so that you can go back to a code and make any edits in the future easily if you want. So if it's not already showing here, you can go to file and go to options and go to custom ribbon, go to main, uh, main tab on the right where you can see developer. So if it's blank, just click it. Okay, and then you can see developer tab is shown right here. So when you have the developer tab turned on, you can go to view codes where it will show you. And basically this is where it's gonna host the chat GPT code um, just in a minute. Okay, so now let's come to the fun part. Um, you can go to this web link. I will link it in the description. This is the main page for chat GPT. Just go to login if you have already signed up. It will show you this page right now. Go to chat GPT. Do note that this tool is also evolving fast. Uh, I'm recording this video in July 2023. So if you check this video in the future, there might be some different uh, web layout, but the idea should stay very much the same. So this is the interface right now. Um, what you need to do here is really just send a message and tell ChatGPT what you want to do. So here my request is to use VBA code to split a master file or sheet into multiple sheets based on one code. So that is my request. And then you can just click send and you can see ChatGP is trying to write the code for you. And you basically just wait here. Um, this is how fast it runs, it's pretty fast. Um, and then you just copy the code after you see there. However, it's not just copy the code. This is where you do need very, very little knowledge of VBA, which is why I'm making this video. Um, so I'm bridging the gap from the chat GPT code um, to your knowledge if you have no VBA knowledge and you should be able to just run the code from here. Okay, so it has a code and it has also has an introduction. I'll show you that step by step and then you can just copy code, just click on it, and then it's gonna show copied. So after the code, uh, ChatGPT also provides you some introduction on how to use a code, and that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So if you go back to your Excel file, ChatGPT tells you that you can use Outer and F11. The same thing is go to Developer tab and go to View Code. So this is gonna open up this file for um, this interface for you. What you need to do is go to your file, 
whatever name that you have and go to the module and then it's going to be a blank page and then this is where you're going to paste the chat gpt code what if you don't see this module if you don't see this coming here what you can do is go to this icon insert module and then module and then it's going to insert another one for you it doesn't matter which one you insert it so i'm going to go for module one if i need um, let's say if i don't need it then i can just remove it Okay, so just go to module one. You can also rename it if you want. But then here is where I go control V and paste in my code. However, this is not the end of the story. You cannot run it yet because you do need to do some customization. So um, you don't need to know what the code is. That's the best part. You just need to know where you need to do your customization. So the first customization is where you see this, this code, like all the green parts are the comments and all the black text are the codes. So here for this code, it's actually referring to this sheet that's called master sheet. So here you have two options. First is that you can change your original uh, sheet name to master sheet, or you can change master sheet to your original sheet name. So either way will work. The key is they have to be consistent. So I choose to change it in the code so that is consistent with what I have. The second customization is that in the second row, you need to decide for which column you want to split on. So in my case, I want to split based on the department, which is column F, and that's the second customization I need to do. So I need to change column A reference to column F. This you can change it, but you can say it's green. It doesn't affect your code, but it's just for consistency. It's better you change it both in the code and in the comments. And then the next part you need to customize is here. So basically this code is uh, asking Excel to filter for the right value and then uh, copy it to the new sheets. So this number needs to be consistent with your column number. So now we are using column F and that is column six. So here for the filter, for the field that we want to filter on, this needs to be six. Okay, so now let's save it and let's run our code. Yeah, that's a good sign. That means that it's running code and you can also see all the sheets are now already split by the departments. One last great thing about this ChatGPT code is that even when you have a new set of data, there's very minimum change you need to change to the code. So let me give you an example. So let's say you need to do this um, splitting spread, uh, master spreadsheet again, and this time you have a few more employees who have actually who, who's from a new department. So let's say they are in the engineering department. So this time when we split it again, we want to have another new tab with the engineering employees. So let's see how ChatGPT can help us. So to do that, let's first clean up our Excel. So the data is now cleaned and we have the new uh, engineering department people. However, you can see that in the ch uh, in the ChatGPT code, we don't have to change anything. We are still splitting based on department. Um, the ChatGPT will automatically recognize what is the last row, and it will use the same criteria to split. So you don't need to change anything in the code, and then just run it again. And you can see now we have a new engineering department with all the engineering department people. So I think that is a very handy tool for you. You just need to know very basic knowledge of, of VBA and then it can help you to increase your productivity greatly. Okay, so that is everything I wanna share with you today. I hope that you find it helpful and you have the courage to get started diving to create your first VBA code with ChatGPT. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them here and uh, I will see you in my next video.